Welcome again. Right now we're in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 through 21. Live in holiness, walk in righteousness. Paul said, Be therefore imitators of God as beloved children. Wow, that is quite a statement. Be imitators of God. Watch what the Father does and do what the Father does. Remember how Jesus, when he was accused of working on the Sabbath, he says, well, my Father works on the Sabbath and so do I. He said basically that he watches his Father and he does what his Father is doing. We should all agree that God is holy. God is righteous. God is just. Be imitators of God. Walk in love even as Christ also loved us and gave himself up for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling fragrance. But sexual immorality and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not even be mentioned among you, as become saints, for filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not appropriate, but rather giving of thanks. Know this for sure, that no sexually immoral person, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater. Who's an idolater? The sexually immoral. Their idols are parts of their own body. Their idols are their own lusts and their own fantasies. That is an idolater. The commandment, you shall not have any gods before me, means a lot more than just statues of wood or stone or gold. It means sexual gods. It means covetousness. It means money, things. Know this for sure that no sexually immoral person, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of these things, the wrath of God comes on the children of disobedience. There again, we see Paul calling people the children of disobedience. Therefore, don't be partakers with them. For you were once darkness, but are now light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. Very, very important that you walk as children of the light. That means do. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is well-pleasing to the Lord. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful deeds of darkness, but rather even reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of the things which are done by them in secret. But all things, when they are reproved, are revealed by the light. For everything that reveals is light. Therefore he says, Awake, you who sleep, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Awake, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. That is talking about coming out of your sin and being born again and being, as it were, a reflection of the glory and the righteousness and the holiness and the justice of God. Therefore, watch carefully how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. And how much more today are the days evil, having 2,000 more years of corruption heaped up. Therefore, don't be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Don't be drunken with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms, songs, that is, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord giving thanks always concerning all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God, even the Father, subjecting yourselves to one another in the fear of Christ. Yes, there is such a thing as the fear of Christ. And yes, that is New Testament. Seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. Call upon him, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you.